Welcome back to the channel. In today's review, I'm going to be reviewing the 2023 Kia Carnival. This is the SX Prestige trim. Let's talk about pricing here for the SX Prestige Carnival. Starting price is at $46,200. This one comes in at $47,855, including destination. If you guys are on the market for a Kia, be sure to check out South Day Kia of Miami in Homestead and ask for Cello, and he will get you into your new vehicle. Looking at the exterior styling for the Kia Carnival, we should be expecting a refreshed Carnival within the next year or so. But as you guys can see here, I love this beautiful exterior paint here with the dark chrome and silver trim throughout this vehicle. Looking at these headlights here, they're going to be an LED pod like finish, which are very bright with some uh, dark chrome accents around the actual uh, bezel here. This is LED turn signal and daytime running light with an automatic low and high beam here. Like I mentioned, dark chrome trim here, which is really nice. There's a front facing camera. There's a new Kia logo here, more silver trim throughout the front fascia, rear park uh, front parking sensors, and there's going to be full LED fog lights here at the lower part of the fascia. This area right here is going to be functional to push air around the vehicle. Very aggressive front lip splitter here with the silver trim there. Let me know in the comment section what you guys think about the Kia Carnival. To me, it doesn't look like a minivan, so I can see why Kia went with that design cue to get rid of that minivan like stigma. But the Carnival is a very handsome minivan, especially in this actual segment. But looking at the side profile, this has a 121.7 inch wheelbase with an overall length of 203 inches. So it's right on par with the other competitors in this segment and this vehicle does offer 6.8 inches of ground clearance so good step in height to get into this minivan here looking at these tires and wheels here these are a 235 these are a 235 55 continental tire they're wrapped in this 19 inch wheel design which are a gloss black finish with the multi-spoke it also has a new kia logo in the center cap and there is no uh, cladding here on the fenders it's going to be body color which is really nice there's some blacked out trim around the window wells this LED sight marker and down here is going to be some silver trim with some cladding of course there's some more silver trim on the door handles here and up top Kia does give you this large panoramic terminal but it does have that split design and the second glass actually opens I think this is the first vehicle in the actual market to have opening a uh, sunroof for the second passengers and there's these nicely integrated roof rails here I love this nice pattern here to the uh, rear of the vehicle and this is where the track is when you guys open up this uh, door which, which is power operated looking at the tail lights here they're going to be an led combination this light bar here is going to be a full led but down here it's going to be the turn signal and reverse lights there's rear parking sensors more trim more silver trim there and it says carnival and it has a new kia badge there with this backup camera it's going to be incandescent lights for the tag opening up the cargo back here it has a power opening tailgate once it opens up it reveals 40.5 cubic feet of space, one of the biggest in the actual segment. There's a 12 volt and household outlet. And off to the side, there's some storage shelves here. You guys can probably put some things or make it a little neat back here if you guys have OCD. But pulling this handle here, you can also lay the seat flat into the actual floor. Once you guys do that, and you let down everything, it expands the cargo to 145.1 cubic feet of space. So it does offer tons of practicality for this to be a minivan of course this is why most people still go with minivans because they offer tons of space especially for long road trips sitting in the interior of the kia carnival you're greeted by this massive display here which are two 12.3 inch displays you also have this customizable display for the driver with this navigation system here which is a 12.3 inch display which supports apple carplay in android auto via the usb a cable not a type c so if you guys are looking for a wireless function sadly kia does not offer it here on the larger displays i'm pretty sure if you guys go for the smaller unit you can you can use the wireless carplay on their smaller screens but on their but not on their larger screen this the displays here look very mercedes like in this vehicle so it's really nice looking at the materials here on the door panel is going to be a nice soft touch material with the gloss black trim with this aluminum accented door handle two press memory seat there's your lock control mirror controls are here you can also power fold the mirrors in and out via this button here. This has a Bose sound system, large storage and cup holder space. You can open up the rear uh, doors there, which are slide open and close. Your illumination switch, lane keeping assist, your traction control is there. Trunk release and your power door uh, off button here so you guys can cut the power if your kids like to open doors. And shutting the door here, and to start up the vehicle, the push button start is right here on the dash. Once you guys do that, you're greeted by these massive displays once again, and the gauge will do a nice sweep. On the full tank of gas, this vehicle was saying that it had 401 miles until empty. 
but looking here at the steering wheel here it does offer these nice touch controls here for the driver's assistance tech over here for your, vo your voice controls there's a kia logo with some silver trim there this has a three-spoke wheel design with this gloss black trim here very thin like rim but it does feel nice to hold in my hands the materials on the dashboard here are going to be a hard touch plastic back here but it's going to be nicely uh, padded right here and this is very thick of uh, housing here protect the screens from the very bright sunlight so it's nice that kia kind of gives you this hood here to protect uh the lighting for the displays but like i mentioned it is customizable press this button right here it shows you your driver information the compass tire pressure and your driver's assistance tech you can uh, kind of scroll down uh, and see what else it shows you like a digital uh, speed which is there i love the blue uh, background there once you guys have the vehicle into its, uh, e its uh, eco mode here press this uh, button right here for your drive mode selector it shows you a sport gauge there's a smart normal eco i love the sport gauge it gives it a nice uh gives it that nice red look to it and there's a smart mode and i'm gonna i'm gonna put it back into its eco mode but looking here at the display for the apple carplay massive display one of the biggest displays in the actual segment it is very responsive i love how large the icons are there's some faux stitching here on the dashboard it's going to be nicely padded here i love this texture like look here on the dashboard here it's going to be uh dual climb control so at this vehicle there's two level heated and cool seats which is right here just pull down for the cool seats and push up for the heated seats but I'm going to keep it on the cool seats because it's like 100 degrees outside today. There's electronic parking brake, auto hold, a lot of gloss black trim here in the center in the center console area. I'm surprised that there's no actual flap here so I can hide my phone if I would like or to hide the cables here. It's going to be three USB-A ports, a wireless phone charger, two cup holders, additional storage here for your phone. The passenger also gets three level heated and cool seats. And you can tilt the seat back here or slide it forward to give this passenger here some space. It's going to be nicely padded here on the armrest. It does reveal a good amount of storage. There's two cup holders here for the rear passengers. Above me, there's a standard sunroof, but it's kind of a panoramic uh, feature. But this area right here kind of gets in the actual way. Going here to the Kia uh, interface here. This also has a camera to watch the rear passengers. Uh, this pa is called Passenger View. Uh, Honda calls it Cabin Watch, I'm assuming. You can also zoom in and out. So if you guys have a front or rear facing child seat, you can look at your actual passengers you can also talk to your passengers as well or you can just have a split screen here to show you different sources and whatnot but going back here that's passenger talk it will amplify my voice through the actual speakers and so forth or if the kids had uh, headphones in if they had if, if this one had the rear seat entertainment package you can basically uh, project your uh, voice to the actual headphones like i mentioned uh, but you can also cancel it out going back to the carplay here looking at the ways uh map there it is very massive it's responsive as well you guys can see really good system there and this also has embedded navigation there's your air vents here has a button there's going to be touch sensitive controls here for the map radio media there's a volume and tune knob here looking at the glove compartment it does offer tons of storage to put your crap in and it's going to be slightly padded here the seats are very supportive and comfortable as well like i mentioned three level heated and cool seats and there's going to be these uh, led lights throughout the interior here you can also open up that rear uh glass back there for the passengers which is the first in the actual industry if i'm not mistaken because there's no other vehicle that i have seen or or reviewed that has a, a sliding opening sunroof for the second row for the second row passengers so it is nice that kia does give you that there's an sos button your kia connect button is there more gloss bike trim up here i'm surprised this vehicle is not equipped with a digital review camera mirror but the visibility out of this vehicle is really good as well the turn signal stock is really nice it does give you that blind view camera if you're signal if you're signaling signal left or right which is really nice but once again the interior of the kia carnival does offer some really good tech good uh, features and it does offer one of the best looking interiors in the segment getting into the second and third row of the carnival here just pull this handle here and the doors will power slide open this is nice grab handle here if you guys are short and this vehicle does offer 6.8 inches of ground clearance so it does have a really good step in height as you guys can see to get inside this vehicle but just grab this handle here and just hoist yourself inside and as you guys can see here i do have plenty of foot space underneath the driver's seat this is where i have the seat to drive there's going to be four mat pockets back here in total but to shut the door just press this button here and we'll power uh close or you guys can just actually pull that handle and it will close itself there's this large manual sunshade here to block out the sun or to protect your baby from the sun rays there's this grab handle up here with the air vents and you also have these full led interior lights here with this camera so if you guys have a rear facing chelsea or front facing chelsea you guys 
can look at your baby and so forth. There's some gloss black and silver trim here as a household outlet with 12 volt, a 12 volt there. The USB charging ports are in the actual seat backs. That's a Kia and Genesis and Hyundai thing. And Hyundai thing, you guys can also tilt the seat forward and slide it forward and back to give this passenger here some space. Kia says this has 40.5 inches of rear legroom space. So pretty good numbers in the segment. And the seat here, you can slide it forward and back here, the middle seat. And I'm pretty sure you guys can take the seat out as well. And there's some points here to put a child seat. Like I mentioned, they're gonna be exposed. The seats are very supportive and comfortable. And it does offer this armrest here with a recline feature, which is nice as well if you guys are looking to get comfortable. If you guys are wondering where the climate controls are, they're gonna be in the actual ceiling up here. So this passenger can mess with the actual climate control. And like I mentioned, this is the only minivan in the segment to offer an opening feature for the second passengers here, which is really nice. It lets out a ton of light and a ton of air. And you guys can put your hands out here if you would like. That's why I say that this is the coolest minivan on the market with this manual opening shade here. But let's get into the third row. Press that button there or I can pull the handle like I mentioned. And if you guys are looking to get into third row, you can pull this handle here. That will fold the seat flat. You can just cross over the seat. If not, you guys can just lift that back up. It's kind of hard to do this with one hand, but you guys can cross over the seat like that, or you can pull this handle here that will tilt the seat forward, just push it out of its way, and it does reveal a nice outway to get into the third row. But getting back here, this vehicle is wide enough to sit three people across. But I'm gonna sit behind the seat right here, and this vehicle is wide enough, once again, to fit three people across, and it does offer good legroom space back here. There's gonna be some storage and cup holders with USB charging ports, and the third row passenger also has its own uh, manual sunshades here which is really nice there's led lights throughout the cabin with air vents up top that sun does let in a lot of air and light into the interior here and you get the same materials on this side usb charging port cup holders and storage with the manual sunshades and these headrests here are going to be very supportive and the seat can also be reclined via the scrap here if you guys are looking to get comfortable and the same material is carried over to the third row so kia didn't skimp out when it came to the interior materials but overall the second and third row of the carnival does offer tons of space and nice features. Let's talk about the powertrain specs here for the Carnival. This is Kia's corporate 3.5 liter natural aspirated V6, which makes 290 horsepower, 262 pound feet of torque. It is paired with an eight speed automatic transmission. As the Carnival sits here, it weighs in at 4,700 pounds and this vehicle can tow 3,500 pounds. And this is the only engine choice that you guys have. Sadly, Kia does not offer a plug-in variant or a hybrid model for the Carnival, but we should be expecting that probably in the next generation or so, or maybe a full electric version of the Carnival. But let's talk about fuel economy here for the Carnival with the 3.5 liter V6. But let's open up the fuel door here. This is ready to get 19 in the city, 26 on the highway and 22 combined. On a full tank of gas, my test model here was saying that it would have 401 miles until empty. So I'm back behind the wheel of the Kia Carnival, guys. It's been over a year or two since I've driven this vehicle. Um, because they they sell so many units. It's a hot seller for Kia, believe it or not. A minivan, but it doesn't look like a minivan. Right now I have the vehicle in its eco mode, so it's kind of like a fuel efficient saving mode. On a full tank of gas, this vehicle was saying that it will go 401 miles on a full tank, as you guys can see right here. Also, it does have the company's blind view camera. This is the SX Prestige model, so it's gonna be fully loaded with all the bells and whistles. The visibility out of this vehicle is phenomenal. Out of the back, I can see out of this rear view mirror just fine. But me personally, I think that Kia should equip this with a digital rear view camera mirror. Maybe for the refresh, guys, we should be expecting a refresh very soon from the company. And I've seen spy, spy photos. It looks kind of like they're a full electric vehicle, which I think Kia should have called the Telluride EV, but they call it the company's EV9. That's their, their flagship vehicle, if I'm not mistaken. Um, the materials are going to be really good, especially with this being the top trim. There's two pairs of memory seats. There's wireless. I mean, that's Apple CarPlay. It's not wireless. Sorry. If you guys go for the lower screen, which is an eight-inch display, uh, it will give you the wireless CarPlay in Android Auto, which is nice. But on the on their larger displays, Kia, Hyundai, and Genesis, you cannot get the wireless uh, feature on their larger displays. You have to go for the smaller displays in order to get the wireless feature. Uh, this vehicle is ready to get 19 in the city, 26 on the highway, and 22 combined. So it is fuel efficient for what it is, especially in this segment. If you guys um, don't look at the Sienna, which is a full-on hybrid now, but that uses a four-cylinder instead of a V6. Uh, Toyota has dropped that and gave that uh, vehicle a four-cylinder instead of a V6. And you guys can also go for the Chrysler Pacifica plug-in hybrid 
which will get a good amount of range on a full charge. I forgot exactly on the top of my head, but I think it, it can go over 20 miles on a full charge. So if you guys don't stay too far from home, you guys can commute on that full battery, uh, the full charge of the vehicle, or you guys are trying, if you guys are trying to take advantage of that full charge in order to get to work. But the Kia here, this has the company's 3.5 liter naturally aspirated V6, which makes 290 horsepower and 262 pound feet of torque. It's paired with a eight speed automatic transmission. Eight speed is a really good transmission. Doesn't use a CVT like the other competitors or an eCVT. Kia does not offer a plug-in variant or a hybrid model of the uh, Carnival, but we should be expecting one probably for the next generation or a full electric version, which they might use the same platform as the EV9. But me personally, guys, I have no problems with this vehicle. It rides smooth. It has a good powertrain, great power delivery, massive uh, screens in this vehicle, great technology with their driver's assistance tech, which has four collision warning, emergency braking, lane keeping assist, blind spot monitoring, also with the blind view cameras. If you guys are wondering what that rattling noise is, as the actual key fob here in this little uh, cubby area, there's three level heated and cool seats, like I mentioned. But if you guys wanted to merge onto a highway, this thing sounds beautiful. The V6 is a very potent powertrain, but let's come to a stop here where there's no one behind me and let's do an acceleration run. I'm gonna leave the traction on because I know it's front wheel drive and it's feeding into the front wheels. I'm gonna put it into a sport mode. I'm not gonna brake boost it. Oh, it's cutting power. Oh, this thing sounds like a charm. I love the, the grunt. So if you guys have kids and they're constantly nagging or fighting about something, you just put this thing in the sport mode or you guys can just floor it from an eco, the eco mode or whatnot. And it's gonna still sound really good. Going here to the kit interface, it's this button here or this uh, uh, area you have to touch. It does show you your passenger view. So you guys can zoom in on your baby if they're sleeping and whatnot. If, even if they're fighting and they say, oh, I'm not hitting that person. You can just check and see who's hitting who. Uh, via this um, camera which is above this portion right here that's why it's not connected via the full glass because of the climate controls and so forth but this vehicle rides really well even in its sport mode i'm going to put it back into its eco mode here and down here is going to be some buttons for the parking sensors you can access the, ca the cameras via this button here there's a front view camera you can zoom in and out which is really nice and it's also a heated steering wheel function as well so if you guys stay in the cold weather state you can keep your hands toasted if you would like, this also offers dual climb control, three level heating and cool seats, like I mentioned. The seat comfort is pretty good, but the upper portion of my back, I kind of feel myself squirming around, but that's just a small nitpick. But if you guys uh, own this vehicle, let me know what you guys think about the seat comfort over the, the time that you guys uh, have purchased the uh, Carnival. But overall, if you guys are looking for the most coolest minivan on the segment, before I end this uh, driving scene here, the second glass in the second row actually opens. I think that's the first, this is the first production vehicle to have a second uh, sliding glass uh, sunroof for second row passenger that, that actually opens up to let air into the cabin. You guys can just do it from this button right here. You can also do it from the back of the vehicle as well. So it lets in more light and more air, especially because this one does have a dark uh, interior, you guys can close it via one touch. So it is nice that Kia does give you that. So once again, if you guys are looking for the most, if you guys are looking for the coolest minivan on the market, the Kia Carnival is not gonna disappoint because it does offer great technology, great warranty, and it does offer decent fuel efficiency, especially in this competitive segment. After spending time with the coolest minivan on the market, the Carnival is a great pick. It offers great technology, a silky smooth ride quality, and a good V6 powertrain. Keep in mind, on a full tank of gas, this vehicle says it will go 401 miles on a full tank. Sadly, Kia doesn't offer a plug-in variant or a hybrid, but that V6 is a great powertrain. The exterior styling looks really good. It doesn't even look like a minivan from certain angles. And I love that the second row passengers also has that opening sunroof, which lets in a lot of air and light. This is the only vehicle in the segment to give you that feature or basically in the actual market because I've reviewed other vehicles and the second sunroof does not open to let in air. But it is nice that Kia does give you that type of feature, especially on an actual minivan. But if you guys are looking for the coolest minivan on the market, the Carnival is gonna be the way to go. The other competitors are pretty decent for what they are but I think you guys can't beat Kia's warranty. So once again, if you guys are looking for the coolest minivan on the market, the Kia Carnival is not gonna disappoint. But I hope you guys have enjoyed this full review on the 2023 Kia Carnival. Be sure to check me out on Instagram, at Drive One Reviews. Hit that subscribe button and turn on post notifications, and I will see you all in the next video.